Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to save SHSH blobs without jailbreak for future downgrades. If you are an Apple fan, you may probably know that once Apple releases a new iOS update, after around one or two weeks, Apple will stop signing the older versions of iOS. This means that if you updated to the latest iOS version and decided that you didn't like it and you want to go back to the older version of iOS, you can't do that because Apple has closed the door to downgrading back to the older version of iOS. That's why, just to be safe and prepare, you should always save your SHS8 blobs for your iOS device on a secure server while Apple is still signing that version of iOS before it's too late. So why do you need to save SHSH blobs? And what is SHSH blobs if you ask? SHSH blobs is the signing ticket that allows you to downgrade back to the older versions of iOS even after Apple has stopped signing that iOS version. And it should be noted that currently the newer iOS devices don't support this method yet because they are 64-bit devices. But the old ones with 32-bit chips can do so. Hopefully in the future, hackers might be able to find a way to downgrade our 64-bit devices. That's why you need to have this SHSH blob saved for future possible downgrades. Without SHSH blobs, you won't be able to downgrade at all. To save SHSH blobs, it's like a piece of cake. Just head to the TSS server website. I have included the link to this website in the description below. So what this website does, you can see at the top, TSS Saver, SHSH2 Blob Saver. It is a secure server that allows you to save your SHSH blob for future possible downgrade. And this website is free, but you can also help them to keep the server running by donating to their PayPal account or to their Patreon or Bitcoin. They have lots of choices that you can help donate to keep the server running. So as you can see here, it's a ECID and by default it will select this for you, Hex, iTunes. And you have to copy and paste your device ECID here. To do so, you have to plug in your iPhone or other iOS devices through a cable. Now I plug in mine and you have to open iTunes and make sure your iTunes is the latest version of iTunes and after you plug in your device you will see the device logo here click on it click on the device you have and then my device is iPhone 6 and you can see here serial number this is not what you want you just have to click on this number it will change now it change to UDID click on it one more time now you will see ECID right click on it click copy go back to the website and paste it here and now identifier because I'm plugging my iPhone you leave it there but if you plug in your iPad or Apple TV or iPod just select there and select your iPhone my iPhone is iPhone 6s this is another thing here it is an internal name model or board configuration if you're using the other types of iPhone it won't ask you to do that only iPhone SE iPhone 6s 6s plus even 6 doesn't require that 7 also no so if you are using iphone 6s 6s plus and se it really requires you to type in your modal number and how can you find that number to do that you have to download one app in your iphone let me show you my iphone screen you have to go to app store and you click on search you have to type in bm ssm click search here this app install it Click open. So what this app does is it shows you your modal number. So at the top you can see summary, system, network, click on system. And at the top you can see device, they have modal and they have the number next to it. That is your internal name or modal configuration number. That's what you're looking for. Just type that in and 71 AP. And again, only for iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, and SE. The other model, you don't have to download this app. And you click on I'm not a robot to verify that you're a human. And you click submit. Because I already submit my 
SH SH blob once before already so I don't want to do that again because my SH SH blob has already been saved on the server but if it is the first time for you click submit it will be done and if you want to download it back like let's say now you can downgrade back to your older version of iOS to download it back just copy and paste your ECID from the iTunes app at the moment paste it here and you click get your blobs so you can see here this is my blob saved I have saved 11.2 11.2.1 so I can click download zip here to use it and if in the future they have a newer version of iOS to like iOS 12 I can also save it here so that if in case I want to downgrade it back to iOS 11.2 I can do that by downloading my SHSH blob from here okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please click like comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video